China's top weapons scientist says nuclear fusion power is six years away. Peng Xianjua unveils plans for combined fusion fission reactor that could make China world's first to achieve the elusive viable energy source. As we all know, no country has so far managed to build a facility that generates more power than it uses in the fission process. Recently, China has unveiled plans for the world's largest pulsed power plant, which it hopes will help it win the global race for viable nuclear fission-powered energy. The Chinese government has approved construction of the world's largest pulsed power plant with plans to generate nuclear fusion energy by 2028, according to the top nuclear weapons scientist leading the project. Fusion ignition is the jewel in the crown of science and technology in today's world, said Peng Xianjue, a professor with the Chinese Academy of Engineering Physics. Being the world's first to achieve energy scale fusion energy release will lay the most important milestone in the road. To fusion energy for human beings, a Peng, 81, has developed some of China's most advanced small nuclear warheads and served as a top advisor to the country's nuclear weapons program. Under the Environmental Protection Policy of Carbon Peaking and Carbon Neutrality, nuclear power generation has become a new power generation model sought after by many major countries due to its superior low emission and cleanliness. The fuel of a nuclear power plant is nuclear energy, that is, relying on a nuclear reactor to generate thermal energy. In scientific terms, it is nuclear fuel made of uranium which fission occurs in the equipment of the reactor to generate a large amount of thermal energy. This mode of converting nuclear energy into heat allows nuclear power plants to not have to worry about carbon emissions, because, unlike thermal power plants, it needs to burn coal to generate heat. At present, the nuclear reactors of all nuclear power plants use nuclear fission reactions. More advanced than nuclear fission is nuclear fusion. Once this technology is mastered, it will undoubtedly be a century-old innovation for the global power generation industry. So, what is the current progress of nuclear fusion research in China? Can it really be done in only six years? Hi! Welcome to Hot Topics Time, a channel to interpret news from a new perspective and explore the wisdom behind the news. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. The Z-Pinch machine which replicates the fusion reactions of a thermonuclear bomb through magnetic pressure created by an extremely strong electric pulse is expected to be completed around 2025 in Chengdu the capital of the southwestern province of Sichuan. The machine will produce 50 million amperes of electricity about twice as much as the record-holding Z-Pulsed Power Facility, a similar device at the Sandia National Laboratory in the U.S., Peng said. Nuclear powers like the U.S., Russia and China have built a number of Z-Pinch machines over the past few decades some of which have never been officially disclosed to simulate the extreme conditions needed to develop atomic weapons. These facilities can store a huge amount of electricity and release it in just a few nanoseconds. The electric pulse can create extreme pressure and enough radiation for two lightweight atoms to fuse into a heavier one and give up some mass in the form of energy. But building a machine that can produce more fusion power output than input is extremely difficult and so far, no country has been successful. According to Peng's presentation, the Chinese researchers will try to create a nuclear fusion reaction by using the strong electric charge to ignite a small number of the hydrogen isotopes deuterium and tritium. By carefully controlling the process, they hope to be able to cap the pulse energy released to a few hundred million joules about as powerful as a 20 kilograms, 44 pounds, bag of TNT. And in a departure from previous designs, the fusion energy produced by the Chinese facility will not go to the power grid, but drive a swamp of superfast particles to hit uranium, the fuel which will power the facility's fishing component. In his conference presentation, Peng said this inclusion of fusion and fission reactors is responsible for the Chinese design's designation as ZFFR. The intention is for the walls of the fusion ignition chamber to be filled with uranium which will absorb the flying neurons produced by the explosion, 
causing it to split into two lighter elements, the same process used in existing nuclear power facilities. The uranium fission will increase the facility's total heat output by 10 to 20 times, significantly accelerating the application of fusion energy and making it ready for commercial power production by 2035, according to an estimate by Peng's team. If China's machine is to succeed, it will need many high-performance capacitors to store the electricity in laser-powered switches that can operate instantly without causing a shortage. Other challenges include special wires able to transmit the strongest electric currents on Earth and a peanut-sized target device to efficiently convert electricity to an ignition charge. Peng said many of these problems had been solved thanks to new scientific discoveries and technical breakthroughs by Chinese nuclear scientists in recent years. And some of their approaches are fundamentally different from what has been tried in the West. In its fusion experiments, the Sandia lab tried to start ignition from the center of the target device. But the Chinese researchers say they have found ignition could more easily be achieved by first creating a thin line of fusion reactions that runs through the target's center. This linear approach reduces the complex, three-dimensional problem of squeezing the entire target at equal pressure from many directions simultaneously to a one-dimensional issue, Peng said. The Chinese approach significantly simplifies the physical models for computer analysis while relaxing the demand for energy input, he said. This is a big innovation. The researchers said the future power plant could use natural uranium ore, the nuclear waste produced by today's reactors, or thorium, which could meet energy demand for thousands or even tens of thousands of years while producing little radioactive waste. And because the fusion explosion will happen only once every 10 seconds, it will be incapable of generating enough energy to start a chain reaction and cause a meltdown, making the design safe and suitable for most places on Earth, they said. In fact, the Z machine is just one of a range of methods including powerful lasers and hot plasma caged in a magnetic field being tried and tested by China and other countries in the race to achieve fusion ignition. A number of giant facilities are in development around the world, with most aiming for commercial power production by the middle of this century. A Beijing-based nuclear physicist said that while the Z-machine has some unique advantages, it also presents some difficult problems that may affect its mass application. The electric power source, for instance, will need to generate and release charges at a high frequency every few seconds, putting an enormous strain on the capacitors and other components, the physicist said. In addition, the target device will need to be replaced after each explosion while the reactor chamber will need to withstand thousands of explosive shocks per day. But whether ignition can be achieved, one thing is certain, according to the physicist, the facility will be a megalab for cutting-edge research on everything from Big Bang physics to new weapons. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news. We will see you in the next video.